So basically what we're starting out doing right now is we're going to be making the frame for the uh, welders in the back of the pickup truck. We're using one and a half by one and a half inch by eighth inch wall square tube for the majority of it. And with that we're going to make a rotating member that swings on over the tailgate and gives these guys the ability to have their welders on the road with them. So as you saw before we were cutting up the square tubing for the welding racks and uh, now we're basically going to start fabricating them together. So as you can see we put them on the arc station here. The X pattern makes it real handy so you can go in and clamp everything down. But uh, as soon as we're ready to go here we'll tack it up. We'll make sure it's square and after that we'll final weld it with the clamps in place to keep everything nice and flat and square. Here we're going to be using the Millermatic 211 auto set with MVP. Nice part is again it does have that auto set feature so we can simply go in adjust it to the material thickness as I mentioned before. This is eighth inch thick so we're going to set it on eighth inch. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Uh, for tacking it I do like to set it just a little bit colder though so we have it on 14 gauge right now just in case we do have to break any welds apart if I didn't get it square when I tack it up. All right so uh, today we pretty much accomplished the uh, framework for the uh, that's going to hold the machines down in the back of the truck. Uh, we're looking at uh, tomorrow fabricating potentially the headache uh, rack for the tires, um, the, the rack configuration to hold the, uh, the air tanks and uh, tomorrow afternoon we're probably going to go take a look at um, some of the wood that we might use for the pusher bars. So that's pretty much it for today and gives you the rundown for tomorrow.